Coogee Z coming at you in Atlanta. I'm on a service call in Jonesboro. I'm going to take y'all with me on the service call. I'm not sure what's wrong with the AC, but we're going to figure out today. So y'all come on. Got my man CJ Lee. He's going to be on the camera. And uh, let's go check it out. G's. Cool G's on your Google YouTube. If you're looking for a trade, hit the move. Sit down, take note, listen up. Cool G's about to pour it in your cup. Be your own boss and set the stage. Just use HVAC as a trade. Set your own rules and calm up. All you need to do is sit down and listen up. Service and repair. Haha. <laughs> Install. Come learn that trade. Get yourself paid. Pay all your bills. All you need is the tools and a truck. First thing I check is the is on auto and cool, so the AC is on, but there's a huge difference in temperature. See that? Mm -hmm. It's 83 there in the center right there, so I don't have no AC on, so we're gonna have to find the furnace and see um, what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. So the furnace, I'm gonna assume is the lowest. Found the unit. Yeah, that's the lowest one. Found the unit. Found the unit. Uh, it ain't on. We're gonna see why it ain't on. Is it on? Mm -hmm. All right. Covers off. There's no capacitor. There's no capacitor in it. So somebody took the capacitor out. Like and the I box see, is and on I see the screws ground. over there. So somebody been on it. What's that? That's a contactor. With a new contactor on it. But no capacitors on it. All the wires are disconnected. So that's why it's not working. Somebody on the wire just connected. So, what size cap going there, Corey? Huh? That's a good question. All right, so the question is, what size capacitor? There's no capacitor on there. So what size cap going there? The dual cap go to the compressor and the fan motor. So, I'm gonna take off the cover. We're gonna see what fire is going there. And I'm gonna need you, bro. Hold, hold that for me. You can hold the camera for a second. Hold that. Hold it with two hands. All right. So All right. So the camera size is gonna be, the capacitor size is gonna be on this. On this compressor, so I'm gonna scan it like that first. I'm not sure where it is. Uh, we're gonna, uh... All right, so the question was what size cap going it because we didn't have a cap. I looked at the compressor and I took a picture of this 
plate on the fan. We're gonna put the fan cover back down. It's gonna kill us. Can you hold it? It's still recording. Yeah, you take a picture. Right one with screws. Yeah. All right, so you got the capacitor. Now, come down here. We're going to look at the schematic and see how we wire this bad boy up. So, uh, I ain't got my glasses at Oh, So, we're looking for. See it right here? Mm hmm. The H to C to F. Yep. So Herm is gonna be blue. Herm mm -hmm. stands for hermetic compressor. Common is gonna be yellow. Yellow. And a fan is gonna be brown. All right, blue is Herm, fan is fan is brown, and common is yellow. Yep. So we get back over here, we're gonna put this bad boy up. Come on inside of him. Mm-hmm. So we're just gonna go yellow. For the common, yep. fan. fan is brown, and blue is herm. Blue is herm, but it was two yellows on that on that uh, schematic. So was that another common? Yep, same thing, another common right there. So we're gonna plug this in, put it in this slot. Right there. And keep the camera there in case it blow up. There'll be something else to look at. I'm gonna plug it in, see what happens. I got a low voltage, I'm gonna low voltage in and that one, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so everything came on. See that? All we're gonna do now is go back and get the appropriate size. Cool jeans. And um heating that repair. Money. That's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah.